What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Spotlight Productions and today we have a brand new video for you guys. This is the season two preseason and um practice mode for you guys. So if you're brand new here, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and let's get into it. So we got custom recruits here to start off, and I'm pretty upset that some of your guys' players did not make it on here. For example, right here, Wenzel Worley. Uh, from Octagon Gaming. His player did not make it on here. He was a middle linebacker. If you guys want me to, I will make these players. I will change up some of the guys on my roster to do it. So if you guys do want your players on my team, I will do that for you guys. Just comment. Octagon Gaming's player did not make it, unfortunately. Also, Rob Havoc's player did not make it. He was um, a good catching running back out of the backfield, and I thought that he was going to be a great player if we got him. But unfortunately, his um, player did not make it on my teams or on the uh, recruiting. So, uh, Rob, just contact me if you want him on there, and I will change one of my running backs. Uh, we had four running backs middle, which was pretty crazy. Only two defensive players, which I was kind of sad about, but then again, it'll be all right. I think we had a couple quarterbacks and a couple other players. I'll let you know which ones did and did not make it. Only three or four of them didn't make it, so I think six of you guys did, so out of nine, so that's good. I did some give people nine. Um, because it was pretty cool, or there was not too many. And here's another one that I'm really sad that did not make it. Eldridge McKinley the second He did not make it on there for some reason. He had really good skills. He had some dreads. I had to take the weight down on him to get the dreads. But, I mean, he was going to be a great player. And I think that I want to recreate him. So, just contact me. Um, that boy, Mac, he was the person to make him. So, just contact me and I will... Um, let you guys know um as of for the uh, skills he was a great power back had 80 break tackle man this dude would have been a beast but i think i'll recreate him just contact me that boy max just let me know if you want him on my active roster or for any team i'll go put him on any team you guys want just let me know so there's eldridge mckinley the second had pretty decent catching stats honestly and he even did have a little bit of hit power on him a little bit of blocking and pretty good stamina and injury here as we get on to Trey Chung, who did make it in the game, a wide receiver from New York. And he is interested in us. Um, when We'll get on to that later in the video. He had a Robo Speed, dark visor, long white sleeve, gloves. And he had high socks, I believe. And, I mean, we could go get this guy. He's good. So, yeah, three of your guys didn't make it. I'm sorry about that, but just contact me, those three people. Octagonal Robin that boy Mac just let me know but um, as of for Trey Chung he's a very fast guy his catching's on the low side but I would compare him to Ja'Cory ja Day from um, Mr. Hurricane series he's a decent he's very fast and he's a good returner but he's not gonna catch every ball so yeah we I would mainly use him as a return specialist I took his release down a little bit because I thought that was necessary but he's a good speed threat for us hopefully we can get him then we got Will Martin a running back from Glenpool Oklahoma who did make it in the game that was um one second six uh six one two oh five that was a g goat 17's player and i like him he has um he's fairly balanced he has a little bit of everything uh his best attributes were uh trucking and spin if there's anything you guys want me to change about your players i will do that it bumped up his excel a little bit that was my bad and some of these ratings were a little low so i changed them up um this is actually post commentary if you because um, I just thought that would be better this way for this video specifically. But uh, as of for Will Martin here, he had pretty balanced stats. He was mainly more of a runner and an awesome pass catcher, but decent. Then we got Jude Rowe from Cushing, Oklahoma, a good buddy of mine. 5'10", 210 for the um, defensive end, which is our other defensive player. Did make it in the game, fortunately. He's a 76 overall pass rusher with good strength. Uh, agility awareness and we're getting down to his defensive stacks now pretty good stuff pretty balanced i feel like he would be a great player for us if we were able to get him so hopefully we are able to as we're on the bj johnson phillips from sep and this guy is 250 pounds at 511 he's the ultimate underdog that uh, sep calls him and yeah he is a pretty good guy i think that we have a good chance to get him hopefully um feel like he can but he is in South Carolina so hopefully we can and then we got Ray Ray Johnson I don't know why but uh, also um, gold Govers nine player um, is in the game but for some reason custom agility didn't make it on here for some reason 74 overall here for Ray Ray Johnson good speed average catching he's six five so he'll do good but I'm sorry about gold goals gold Govers nines player uh, he had a quarterback 
Benjamin Good. Yeah, there he is right there. There's his quarterback. Number five overall from Florida. There's Will Martin, Trey Chung, uh, Ju Rowe, BJ Johnson Phillips, and Ray Ray Johnson. The others did not make it. I'm sorry about that. Please contact me. So we're in the practice now, and Alan White trying to win the starting job here. He's going to hand off to Brian Ryan, and he gets smoked. Here's a spring pass to on, or sorry, not Andre. That is Josh Anderson. Sorry, my computer went off. There's Josh Anderson again on the mid screen. And it looks like we got another wide receiver's quick screen to him. Anderson gets some room. We have six out of seven. Our front seven guys are brand new, and they played pretty well in this practice, I thought. Like, So, um, yeah, we got uh, another screen here to Anderson, and he gets nothing. And we're getting the handoff to Brian Ryan here. And there's a brand new freshman defensive tackle, Phillips, man. Uh, he's a beast. Number 90. Get used to his name. He's a freshman. Um, he's going to be wearing number 90 for us, like I said. Just look at him. He doesn't he look like a beast. He has great attributes. And, man, he just got past our left guard. And our left guard's 89 overall. So, I mean, that's pretty crazy. Brian Ryan goes down immediately. Um, new players on defense as well as Sam Sizelove and Cornelius Griffin. Uh, both uh, Griffin's a junior and Sam Sam Sam. I think Sizelove is a a redshirt junior. As Alan White hands off to Brian Ryan, he's smoked by Sam Sizelove. And here's another pass here, going deep for Chad President in the end zone. That's intercepted by senior Jeff Cook. Alan White's looking to pass and he's taking a sack. And that, and here we go with a triple option. Alan White trying to juke. His juke was pretty weird in this game. I was pretty surprised. Alan White's looking to pass deep. And he's going to chuck it up for Louie. And it's deflected by a um, new outside linebacker, like I said, Sam Sizelove. 86 overall. And I wanted to play him last year, but I had no room for him. And Sam Sizelove, he is playing this year. He's number 41. Get used to his name because he's going to be making an impact. There he is right there. He has good cover ability, good speed, good tackling, and... Yeah, you saw that deflection up there. Pretty good stuff, man. He he played good in this practice, I felt like. And there he is. Um, also, new defensive lineman. Uh, before, or here's Brian Ryan. I'll stop the commentary for a minute. That's Griffin on that tackle. But we have um, new players on defense. Uh, the defensive line will be... Um, uh, right now, Smith's playing number 98. He's playing, but uh, later in this practice, I found a player named Anderson on defense. There's actually... a Smith right there, but Anderson on defense at defensive end that I really like, and also Griffin starting on the other, or sorry, uh, that would be Clifford Phillips on the left side of the defensive line starting. I think he's 97. And also, um, it was, um, what was his name? Number 56. Is that nose tackle? Oh, yeah, Rollins. Rollins will be starting out DT, and he's a beast. And there was a fast attempt to Andre Jones, who I really wanted to play this year. There he is again. I really want to play him this year, but I feel like with Louis emerging pretty well, and we also have John Hurd as our fourth receiver, I feel like it's going to be the the best thing for us to do is to play um, uh, Louis right now and let Anderson shirt, and then as a redshirt freshman, he will be playing probably the uh, second outside receiver. So let's head over now to a different formation. We're going to the ace spread. This playbook has a ton of good plays in it. So we're going with four verts to start off as Alan White chunks it deep for Andre Jones. And that's the only thing about Alan White is he will overthrow some players sometimes and he has some inaccuracy issues. There's a nice throw to Louie right there. And there, this playbook needs to be used, or this uh, formation needs to be used more because it is quite a good one. So here's Alan White now, just seeing him on display. He's going to be our starting quarterback. I feel like he's the best option. I did try Greer a little bit in the offseason live stream, and I feel like that Alan White has the best potential out of all of our guys with 90 throw power and 87 accuracy or 80 accuracy. Here's Alan White dropping back to pass. He'll be wearing number six. He finds number three, Josh Anderson, who breaks the tackle, gets a first down. Alan White's going to keep this one. I tried that juke move, but it really didn't work. Alan White also has 81 speed and 83 acceleration. He's going to throw underneath here to our top uh, receiver, Chad President. He just has the best overall. He only went up plus two in the offseason, which was pretty disappointing. But, you know, we made it work. So here's Alan White dropping back the pass, throwing it deep to Anderson. And that one was uh, pretty close to being intercepted by Simmons, but not quite. The, the safeties also looked good in this practice, so I was happy about that. There's Chad President on another catch. And he has 99 catching, so he's the most reliable. Louie also has 96 as he nearly made that grab. Alan White dropping back the pass, rolling out to the right side, and he's just going to scramble with it. He picks up 
Um, a nice chunk of yardage there. Alan White, man, I I like what he's doing right now. He looks decent. There's a fumble though, picked up by a president. And here is Alan White dropping back to pass, looking up top for a Louis and nearly caught, but not quite. Alan White looking to pass, and there's a spectacular catch by Louis Bishop Louis, the number 26. I'll let him wear that number. And yeah, this one I went for um again today's thumbnail shot. I took a while to get it for some reason, but I'll just talk about other stuff. So um, on defense, there's Smith right there, but Anderson will probably play. I saw more effort out of him than all the other ones. And then uh, also Brian Ryan. I forgot to mention him, but Brian Ryan now 89 overall, man. He is going to ball out this year. Already had 1,400 yards as a redshirt freshman. He's looking good now. As you can see, Alan White's swag. I gave him the little um, white arm quarterback band on the left arm and then on the right arm I gave him a um with a white wristband. I think it looks pretty good honestly. I think that he's gonna like he likes it. He talked to me about it. He talked to the head coach. And also I had a swag request for other players. Um Cornelius Griffin got his swag changed up a little bit and there's Louie. He already has a little bit of swag on him. And he came in with that. Sometimes I talk to the players about what kind of swag they want. And yeah, Josh Anderson we had a talk um back in the regular season last year about what swag he wanted and I gave it to him because, you know what, some of my players, they ball out, they deserve it. Here's Brian Ryan. He got stuffed on that play by Joseph again. Now White's looking to pass over the middle and a nice catch made by number 26, Bishop Louie. And he's going to be a beast for us. There is a throw, and Chad President nearly intercepts it. Chad President's been playing corner, and he's looking better this year, I think. Here's Alan White looking to pass, and there's a spectacular touchdown by Josh Anderson, who... Man, he's going to be a beast this year. Already had a near 1,400-yard season. I want to try to get into 1,500 this year. Here's Brian Ryan up the middle, losing yardage. Here's the same play, and the blitz comes. Sam size level on that tackle now. Here is uh, Alan White, and that one's way off. That is another bad throw. But I feel like he's our best quarterback. Um, the other quarterback only has 75 accuracy. Greer, there's a nice sack here for the defense. Throwing up the number five, Andre Jones, the freshman, making the catch. He will be getting redshirted, but that is a spectacular catch by the man regardless, Andre Jones. Look at that, man. Number five, I will be changing his helmet. I don't know why I said that helmet looked good. I mean, it's better than most, but come on. And you see Griffin over there, number 91. I changed his swag up. He looks better now. But versus Cook, man, great catch. Humphreys over there also has some decent swag. And now I decided let's go add some new players in. So let's see what I did. I think I put in Barry right here. Yeah, Barry was a walk-on running back that ended up committing, which was pretty surprising. Josh Anderson actually is in number one. I decided to try some Chris Bell here, at no the receiver number three for Andre Jones. And I think that's all I did. Or did I go to defense? I think I did, yeah. So I decided to try some new defensive ends now. And I might try the new corner. I'm not positive. I forgot. Sorry, my commentary gets a little quiet after a while. I tried Phillips and um, somebody else. Uh, oh, yeah, Goods. I forgot about that guy, but he wasn't making a huge impact, so I didn't really uh, look at him that much. Um, hopefully, I don't make any mistakes. And I don't think I put him, or yeah, I put in Stevenson. Never mind, I did. And I don't, I think I put in Richardson, yes. And Patterson's also getting redshirted because he has a ton of potential and I need that eligibility. So, yeah, unfortunately we didn't get Tatum, but it's all right. So, on White, last play in for some players and dropped by Louie that time. So, Alan White dropping back the pass with some new receivers on the field, throwing it up and intercepted by Sam Sizelove. Alan White dropping back the pass. Now looking outside for Bell with a good catch. Bell was decent in this practice, I felt like. He'll probably play in a couple years here. He's a redshirt sophomore, and there's the first sack for Griffin. I was unsure of who this was, so that's why I went to look. And um, on a right tackle, who's a, um, I think, an 80 overall or so, there he is, Clifford Phillips, man. Number 92. He will be playing, and look at that. Or there will actually be a pull in this video, but I think you guys want him to start just like I do. There's a pull. There's a big overall difference, but I mean, come on now. There's a drop by Chris Bell. That's the only problem low catching. And there is uh, Barry, who is a walk-on 77 overall, and he's pretty average. There's a Chris Bell nearly making the catch, but the catching rating's got to get up in traffic especially. 
Um, I also have a player that's comparable to him, Trey Porter, but he'll be getting red-shirted. Here's Chris Bell on a nice catch to the five-yard line. Run some speed option here. If toss out the Barry, and he's going to get tripped up. He's a freshman, so he might have some potential in the future. And there's Griffin, or sorry, not Griffin. That was um Phillips, Cliff, Clifford Phillips again. There's a nice catch by Chad President. Handoff up the middle to Barry and Sam Size love making more impacts. Now looking to pass up top for Bell, and it is caught at the one. What a catch there by Bell. Looking to pass is wide outside to Anderson. He's going to um, drop that one. And Alan White scrambling, and there's another fumble. He's got to get that carrying up. Looking outside for Louie, and he gets nothing there as Alan White's now looking to pass once again. Looking deep and sacked. That is Phillips again. He was just making too big of an impact for me not to try to start him. There is, oh my gosh, that was um, present on the catch. And I don't know what I did here. Did I decide to bench somebody? I'm not sure what I did here exactly. Uh, sorry, my computer keeps turning off. That's my bad. Um, I decided to go try Smith one more time and see if he wanted to redeem himself. I think is what I did. Sorry, guys. My bad. My commentary gets weak. As there's a handoff down white. Looking to pass now, and Louie makes the catch. I'm used to doing live comps, so that's why I'm not very good at post. But Looking to pass down white down the middle to Louie, 46. Alan White on the speed option. White jukes ahead. And, yeah, so there's another one, and White goes up the middle for a little bit of yardage. And here's another draw play to Barry. Barry found a little bit of room in this practice, but not a ton. Looking to pass down White, and he's throwing it outside of Louie. Nice dart there to get the first down yardage. Looking over to the middle, and nice catch there by Louie for about eight yards. Here's another curl play. Probably should have called some more formations, but it's all right. Here's Alan White trying to get that scrambling ability going. Good chase down there by Rollins. There's a nice hit by, I think that was Griffin, not positive, though. Alan White had a receiver open. There's Griffin on the INT. I'm just testing players mainly right now, I think. There's a throw up top to Louie, and it's nearly caught. That would have been a spectacular catch. Alan White looking to pass, and he hits Barry for a little bit. Up the middle to Barry again. He's stuffed. Defensive line was better than I thought it would be, honestly. Joseph making that impact. There's a nice reaching grab by Barry, though. And here's another counter play to Barry up the middle and finally found a first down room. Alan White's looking to pass, tosses it out, and Barry picks up nothing. Looking to pass, looking deep, throwing it up to Louie, and intercepted by Carl Sims. I think I highlight, or no, I want to go put uh, Phillips back in and see if he was for real. I think that's what I did. Man, I liked Phillips. Smith wasn't really showing anything, so I thought that Phillips was... I mean, the overall shows that he should be able to play. And Phillips only has 69 speed, so I don't know if it was a glitch or what, but I expect him more from Smith. There's a throw outside, and that's nearly uh, tipped. Allen White's looking to pass, rolling out, and throws it over in the middle to Josh Anderson, juking up the field for 25 yards. Here's Ander or Allen White looking to pass, looking outside, and that's intercepted by Chad Evans. Handoff here to Barry, and he goes up the middle for a little bit. Looking to pass now over the middle, Allen White to Chris Bell for about 10. Another play here to Barry. Barry up the middle gets nothing. Here's the counter play to Barry again. Sorry about all these same plays. I didn't think to change it. But we're about to end practice already, so it's all right. Looking deep for Bell, and it is tipped. Good play. And I think we change up the something one more time. Oh, uh, looks like, oh, yeah, this is where I want to give Tremblay and a couple of my backups chances, D'Angelo Brewer. D'Angelo Brewer, unfortunately, did not impress me enough to make him the backup. Scott Brown will continue in that role, but we'll see. Here's Tremblay looking back. He had a decent season last year. He found present over the middle in that play. He had, uh, I think, four touchdowns to, like, two interceptions or something. There's Brewer up the middle. Brewer only got two carries last year. We'll see if he does anything. There's a deflection right there. And, man, Tremblay, he's a decent backup, but... He just hasn't turned into the player I want him to be yet. He's a redshirt sophomore now. He will be playing the backup role behind Allen White. Unless if it's a major injury, then I'll probably bring in Greer. And that was a great hit. Now here's a handoff to the Angel Brewer to the outside. And he picks up a little bit. Nice juke move. Just seeing what they got. There's Phillips. Getting the, uh, trying to help out. Oh, there's pressure and sacked. That was Griffin and Sam. 
size and size love. There's Bell. And man, I think we have a good chance this year to be really, really good. With those outside linebackers being better than I expected, we have a chance. Here's Tremblay looking to pass, and that one's nearly picked off. Looking to pass again, Tremblay, and he's going to be sacked. Man, defense. There's a lot of good things on offense and defense, and that's what you expect from good teams. We end up starting this uh, year number 13, and there's Louie. And I feel like we got a chance to be great. So, yeah, defending national champions. I think we got this. We're in the Big Ten. We built up our reputation. And, yeah, so here's another throw here. I think we looked outside, and Anderson, nice jump, but not quite in bounds. Looking to pass Tremble, and I think he was just trying to scramble there. That one's off the mark. Looking to pass deep. Looking deep for Bell, and that one is caught for the touchdown. Good play. Play action here for Tremble, and, yep, that's another problem. His accuracy is, I think, about a 76 now, but I'm not positive. Can't say for sure. Looking to pass, and he's going to get sacked. That is, um... I think that was Phillips, but don't take my word for it. Yeah, it was. Looking to pass over in the middle of Chad President for the first down. As my computer goes off one more time. Tremblay looking to pass, and that one's incomplete. Uh, play action, looking to pass over the middle to Louie for a nice catch for first down yardage. Tremblay looking to pass over the middle, and he's going to hit Brewer, but get nothing. And here is Tremblay looking over the middle, and that one is way off, intercepted by Sims. Trimble looking to pass, and he is looking over the middle. Chunking it deep for Louie, and it is caught for the touchdown after the hang clean. Looking to pass is Trimble again, and he's going to overthrow Louie. I think that was the end of practice. Yes, it was. So let's get on to now red shirting. So Greer gets red shirted. Barry will be getting red shirted. Nobody at fullback. And our three freshman receivers, Jones, Porter, and Stephens, will be getting shirted. Uh, Keith Jones has to play because of back uh, second two tight end sets. Aaron Bennett will be getting red shirted. Nobody at guard. Uh, Ross will be getting shirted, and yeah, 81 overall there for Johnson, and nobody shirt at defensive end. And DT nobody to shirt there. Uh, of course, Beck will be getting shirted outside linebacker. He was a safety in recruiting, but he got moved down. And Washington will be getting red shirted. Griffin's a great player, and he will play. And uh, Cook will be not getting ready to start. It's Patterson Childress. So I was just looking around at stats. I think why wow, it took so long. And yeah, there's all the red shirts right there now. So let's get on to. Um, oh yeah, I was going to show here that only th uh, two true freshmen are going to start, and Jones will be the backup tight end for um, reasons with um, the problem of. Oh yeah, we go on to the depth chart now, and Alan White starting at running back. Uh, D'Angelo. Sorry, Brian Ryan and Scott Brown will be the running backs. Um, there's our receiving core looking good. Louis will play the slot. Prince will be our tight end this year. And we got a transfer, so that's good. There's our lineman, Givens, center. Uh, White's going to play right guard. And Smith, um, I did decide for now to put Phillips there, but there is a pull about right now. Do you guys want him in or not? Just let me know. Anderson will play right in now. He's 97, number 97. Smith, I thought about it, but... Ultimately, I just want to see what you guys have to say, but I think it's going to be the best move for Griff or Phillips to play for now. But just let me know. Or what am I doing? I guess I put him back. I don't know. But there's our defense tackles. Uh, linebacking core. Griffin starts. Cook will be corner. Evans. Richardson will play the slot. Zach Washington's just slow. Humphreys and Sims. Kicker is... Uh, Evans, our punter, and here's our schedule. We're at home versus North Texas to start the year, and then we're at number nine Oklahoma State a rivalry game. That'll be a good one. Home versus Ohio State, that's going to be a big one. At Wisconsin, at Nebraska, home versus Michigan State, that'll be a great game. At Iowa to get revenge versus Michigan, at Minnesota versus um, Northwestern, at uh, Notre Dame because I had them to the conference and home versus Washington State. Two bye weeks to end the year, so that. Washington State game will be a fun one for recruiting, especially. So our schedule is A+. Plus. We are ready to go this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. And um, the, the um, North Texas game should be out on Friday, so be looking out for that. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.